It's time for Wallet Wednesday. College scholarship season is officially underway. Millions of dollars at stake for students. If you're a parent of a high schooler, now is the time to get started with those applications. And joining us live with some tips to dominate scholarship season is Jennifer Finetti, Director of Student Advocacy with Scholarship Owl. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, how can parents start looking for those uh, significant scholarships, especially the big money ones? I love your question about how can parents start looking because oftentimes, of course, it is the parent who is looking as much as they might want their student to be looking. <laughs> uh, but, you know, students and parents together uh, can certainly Google for scholarships. That's what a lot of people do. Uh, also, you can go on our platform, scholarshipisle.com, where we've already got so many scholarships in our database. And uh, all the student needs to do is create a profile and then we create their match list for them. So that makes it super easy and you don't have to wonder about where the scholarships so when you, our, <laughs> you can just go ahead and log in and apply. I mean, yeah, that's definitely a time saver to not have to go hunting for some of these scholarships. Because yeah. I remember going and, and Googling and searching and looking things up. And then you got to read the requirements to see if you fit. And, and, and then you wonder, well, gosh, is it worth my time to apply? Because am I, am I even, do I have a chance? Am I even going to get this? So which scholarships are easiest to win? You know, it's not really so much about which ones are easiest to win. It's really about developing a strategy. Um, one of the things that students on our platform can see is they can see how many other students on our platform apply for each scholarship. So they can focus on applying for scholarships with fewer applicants, which, of course, are definitely going to be the easier uh, scholarships to win versus the one that might have you know thousands of competitors. Um, also, you can see which scholarships are have, high, have a higher credibility score, which is something that we do on our platform so that students don't worry about applying to illegitimate scholarships, right? Which is a big concern of students and parents. You know, uh, when I was coming up uh, a long time ago, uh, <laughs> my uh, high school counselor was really helpful in uh, determining which scholarships I might be uh, able to get and, and helping me to fill out those applications. Uh, does that still happen? Are, are, are uh, high school counselors, uh, you know, versed in all of the ways in, in which to access these scholarships? Yes, for sure. Um, a great resource for local scholarships will be your high school guidance counselor, or if your high school has a career center, sometimes the career center staff will help with those. And, uh, you know, a lot of people say that local scholarships are really the way to go because there's going to be a more narrow group of students applying. So I always encourage students to apply for local scholarships. Also, students should apply for scholarships offered by the universities that they are applying for or currently attending, as well as the private external scholarships like what we have on our platform. And what about social media? That's become such a big part of uh, of the culture these days. It, um, I would be willing to guess that just about every high schooler is on social media. Are there some resources and tools there that could actually help them with scholarship money? Definitely. Um, first of all, you can get a lot of information from social posts. There are influencers out there who talk about scholarships and give great tips. But what a lot of people don't know is you can actually apply for scholarships on social media. Uh, we have a bunch of those on our platform where all you have to do is create and share a social media post related to the theme, and then you can actually apply for scholarships. So, um, for example, we recently had a scholarship called a Happy Dance Scholarship where students could literally go on TikTok, post a video showing their dance if they were to win a scholarship. And then, of course, there was a lucky winner who did win. Uh, and they were able to really do their happy dance. Oh my gosh, a TikTok dance for a scholarship. If I'd had social media available, I maybe could have gotten a few more bucks for college. Yeah, because <laughs> you're a good dancer too. Well, so. I try. A che cheesy TikTok <laughs> dances I can do, yeah. Jennifer <laughs> Finetti with uh, Scholarship Owl. Thanks for the tips uh, for all the parents and the students out there as well. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. And if you want some extra help finding scholarships, you can check out an easy search tool on their website. It is scholarshipowl.com.